Welcome everyone to yoga. We're going to get started seated on our mat in an easy cross-legged position. So find one that feels good to you. If you need to lift your hip on top of the blanket. Eric, maybe remind everyone to mute. Sorry? Maybe remind everybody oh. to mute. Yes. Thank you, everybody mute. <laughs> and if you have an issue or a question at any time, you can just kind of wave your hang or hand around in the screen and I'll come over. All right. <clears throat> Let's get started. Sitting in a cross-legged position, either with one leg in front or on top. We're gonna just start Kind of aligning our shoulders on top of our waist, which is going to be on top of our pelvis. Noticing where our head is, if it's jutting forward or sinking back, trying to get that floating feeling uh, of the head just floating on top of the neck, which is then in turn floating on top of the shoulders. Right away, I'm engaging my belly just gently, nothing intense, just trying to send some energy to that core. And what I want to do is actually just pull back, pulling the belly button towards the spine, which then in turn gets us to move the spine into a C curve. Naturally, our chin just drops to our chest. We're going to take the shoulders and the rib cage to the right. And as we root that left hip, we're going to come through to the front in an arch, we might even open up the chest here and look up, moving the rib cage to the left. We begin to let the chin drop again, and then moving back to that C. Let's try that again. So we're basically doing very slow rib cage circles, noticing as we come forward that in the desire to expand the chest and come into an arch, we can even push against those knees and look up. As we curve to the left, we root the right hip down into the ground and then come back to that C. So really trying to focus on the pelvis rooting down and the articulation, slow articulation and awareness of the mobility of the rib cage above the pelvis. And now we're gonna add the breath, the breath. So exhaling here, as we begin to inhale, we stretch to the right through the arch, big deep inhale, exhale, pushing the right knee and right hip down as we move the rib cage to the left. Now let's try going the other way. We did about three or four to the right. Let's go to the left now. Same idea, as you come through the arch, you inhale. As you move through the side and the back, you begin to exhale. Slow, deep breath. One more. Beautiful. Yes, that should feel so good. A little weird too, but a little, a little weird good. All right, let's take the left hand down to the mat. Reach the right hand up, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the waist, but drop the scapula down the back. Walk the left hand out on the mat. We're gonna do this little curve here. We did it last week, but we're gonna add a little movement. So we're gonna drop that elbow down to the mat. Similarly to the last thing we did, we're gonna go slowly curving. Now rooting the right hip down while reaching the right arm up and over, maybe even looking underneath the armpit. We're gonna curve slowly forward all the way through a front over curve. 
switch arms, drag the left arm in front and the right arm drops to the mat with the elbow on the mat and we come up. Yeah, try that again. Now let's try the left arm. Left arm comes up, inhale, exhale, root the left hip into the mat, drop the right elbow into the mat, look under your left armpit. Exhale, curve belly button to spine, forward, all the way forward, head to your shin, swoop the right arm across to the left side and recover. Let's do that again, but let's actually uncross the legs, give them a little rub down, and let's do the other leg in front or on top. We're gonna add an upper body curve or an arch when we, um, on this round, so just listen to that. We're gonna start the same way. Right arm comes up, inhale, lengthen the drop the scapula, walk the fingertips out, pause here, elbow dropping to the mat, right hip dropping to the mat. Curve forward, exhale. Sweep the left arm across, reach the right arm out, drop the right elbow, look under the left armpit. And now as you push into the mat, I want you to just slightly release the chin to the chest. So you're coming through that open feeling. Try the right arm. One more time, same thing, slow. Following the breath, articulating the full range. And then re high release of that chest, chin to ceiling. And recover. We'll do two on the, with the left, starting with the left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly swoop across. Inhale through the high arch. Left arm comes up. And big release. Exhale, swoop through that curve. Right arm across. High arch and recover. All right, go out, out, go. Okay. All right, let's let's do that. Again. Let's shake those legs out again. All right. <clears throat> Just for kicks, let's lay the legs out. We're gonna inhale, flexing those palms. Inhale, shoulders come up. Hold the breath, squeeze those shoulders behind you. Exhale, send them down and back a couple more times. Breathing through the nose. Use your ujjayi breathing on that exhale. Sitting like this might feel grippy in your hips. So if you need to just take a minute to release or find another position. In fact, why don't we just try that on our knees? Coming all the way up if you want. Same thing, flex those palms, inhale, shoulders come to the ears. This time let's take them forward and scrape that front wall. Look at that range that we have in our shoulders. Inhale, hold the breath as you squeeze. Exhale, forward, last time. Good. And let's just get a little more, more mobility here. Hands on the shoulders. We're going to let those elbows come together. Inhale. Look up. Exhale. Trace a circle with those elbows down and back. One more time. Chin comes to, ch to the chest. Inhale, keep those elbows together for as long as you can. Exhale, scrape a circle with the back, with the elbows one more time. Good. All right, let's just let a little bit of a sway here. 
Good. Standing. <clears throat> We're gonna kind of do what we did actually sitting. We're gonna take a little circle around the world circle. Just adjusting so you can see my whole body. We're gonna stand in parallel. We're gonna take the right arm up. Same length out of the waist. Yeah, shoulders right above the hips. We're gonna exhale over onto the left. We're gonna bend the knees, curl, find that C. Belly button moving towards the spine. Then switch arms, take the left arm up and over, and then recover. Same thing that we did on the ground, but we're standing now and we're adding the feet uh, the knees, oh dear, something's happening here with my adobe. Okay, I hope you didn't see that. So we're standing, we're adding that plie to get a more full body experience of this curve. So inhale, left arm comes up, over, slide that hand down the side of your, of your leg. Bend the knees over the toes, ear comes down forward, the belly button's moving towards the spine. Switch, keep the chest, forward, ear to shoulder, and recover. Good, we're gonna do that right around and left around in our own time, using our breath, and go. Beautiful. And while we're here, let's just turn our chin to the right and hold, dropping the scapula, lifting the belly, turn the chin to the left, hold, breathe. Bring the chin forward and let's take the left ear to the left shoulder, breathe left, right ear to right shoulder, breathe, chin to ceiling, and chin to chest. Good. Let's stay here, chin to chest. Let's let the head be heavy. Maybe give me a little no here and a little yes. And then let's let the shoulders get heavy. Shoulders, just the shoulders kind of dangling out of the sockets. Then let the rib, the upper part of your rib cage get heavy to the bra line. See if you can get that curve, that upper body curve. We've got nice soft micro bend in the knees. Then let the whole rib cage go, maybe bending down to the waist. Slowly, slowly then also allow the top of the torso, the whole upper body part of your body to hang forward, to come into a forward fold. Shake out the knees. Breathe and shake out the head. No and yes. We're gonna hang out here for just a second. Take the elbows and the hands. Breathing and focusing on the breath, but also kind of paying attention to what feels tight and what feels uncomfortable. Maybe moving a little bit, swaying here, gentle, small movements, shifts of weight, just to find a place that feels like you can hang there for a minute, always trying to move that belly button towards the spine so the core is engaged, even here. Let's take three deep, slow breaths. Good, on that last inhale, take the hands down to the mat. And let's actually take the heels off the floor and bend into that tight, tight curve. 
top of the head down to the mat, feeling that nice deep curve in the spine and then walk the hands forward in your mat into a plank position. We're gonna drop the knees, untuck the toes, do a little half chaturanga, scraping the elbows along the side of the rib cage, the booty stays up in the air, push back up, tuck the toes, come back into plank, walk the hands back, bending the knees, coming back to that curve. Try that again. Walk the hands out slow and steady. Drop the knees, untuck the toes, half chaturanga down and push back to plank and walk it back. One more time, same thing. Just trying to get the body heated up gently. <clears throat> Good. Send the heels to the floor, the top of the head to the floor, the boot. Come back into forward fold. Right here, we're just gonna do a gentle spinal twist. Take the left hand to the mat and open up the body to the right. And release back. Try the other side. If you need a, um, to modify this, you can do this on a chair or on a block. You can also do this on your knees, like hands and knees, and back down. And let's slowly, bending the knees over the toes, vertebrae by vertebrae, come up to standing, and we'll do our breathing. All right, so we're gonna do 20 breaths, sweeping the arms up, looking up on the inhale and exhale, bringing the arms, the hands through prayer. I want you to start playing with your rhythm. One thing that I've noticed lately that I've been really enjoying is starting out slow, building some tempo, some momentum, and then bringing my breath back down to slow over the course of the 20 breaths. That's just something that I've been playing with. So it feels really good. You may wanna challenge yourself in another way, keeping all the breaths really slow, keeping them fast, starting fast, slowing down. It's your, cho you ch your choice, but just start thinking creatively about how you can make this different for yourself every time you come to the mat. All right, let's begin. <clears throat> in your own time. Three more. Good. All right, let's step out to a nice star position sending those arms and the energy of the palms out to the wall, planting those feet, tight glutes. We're gonna turn the right toe out and the left heel out, and we're gonna come into a warrior two. 
holding that warrior two. Belly's lifted. Pelvis is towards the camera, towards the, uh, well, maybe towards the camera, open. Good. What I want you to do now is just settle into this pose and see if you can bend that front right knee a little bit more. Big breath. Let's pinwheel that left arm up and over and down to the mat, which lifts our left heel off the floor. And we're gonna come back into a plank position. Good, holding plank. We're just going to tap the right knee to the ground gently and up. Tap the left knee, exhale up. Inhale, inhale. Good. Send the booty back and let's come into down dog. First down dog of the day. Play, play, play. Do whatever feels good. Lift the heels, wag the tail. All right, we're gonna lift that right foot up, swing it through. Drop the back heel, pinwheel around. Come back to the same warrior two that we were in when we started and then bring the toe forward. Try the other side. Left toe opens, right heel opens, hips stay pelvic, stay square and the left knee bends over the left ankle. Focus over that middle finger in the left hand, breathe. Sink a little deeper. Pinwheel the left right arm up and over, hands to the mat, lift the back heel, come into plank. This time, instead of tapping the knees down, we're gonna lift the heels up. Lift the whole right leg up. And exhale down and we'll switch. And switch. And switch. One more set. Right leg. Left leg. And down dog. Remember, you can always stay in plank and not do the leg lifts. You can also bring the knees down to the ground and you can do leg lifts from, the, the, um, from all fours. <clears throat> all right, we're in down dog. We're gonna lift the left leg up and through. Drop the back heel, pinwheel the arms around. Basically rewinding through that warrior pose and then coming back to center. Let's just take the hands into prayer for a minute. Roll those shoulders back, tight booty. Big breath. Good, same thing. Right toes out, left heel out. Warrior two, actually, um, yeah, we'll stay here. Warrior two, this is my, one of my favorite poses. It feels so powerful, so warrior-like, like I'm ready to move. I love the groundedness of the wide stance. Let's just add a nice reverse warrior here for a minute. Right arm comes up. See if you can sink into that right knee a little bit more. And we're going to pinwheel the arms back down to the mat, which lifts our back heel off. We're gonna come into plank. <clears throat> we're gonna pick up the right knee and send it across to the left elbow. 
and down. Left knee across the right elbow and down again. Cross and cross. Last set, cross and cross. Woo, down dog. Breathe. Right leg comes up, step through, pinwheel, warrior two, back to center, bringing the arms in, left toes out, right heel out, warrior two, opposite side. Reverse warrior, left arm comes up, right arm rests on the right thigh, sink into the lunge, Track that knee out and back. Pinwheeling the arms down to the mat, lifting that back heel, plank. This time, instead of a cross, we're just going to tap. Right elbow, back, left knee to left elbow, and three. And four, and five, and six. Woo, down dog. This is a nice home base. Down dog is a great place to come to. If you ever need to rest, it's an active resting place. Swing that left leg through, rewind. Back through warrior two and back to center. You can step or jump your feet together and we'll do a tree pose. Moving right into it, right leg up. <sighs> Placing the right foot in the inner thigh of the left leg, tracking the knee to the right, belly button lifted, slight tuck in the pelvis. Glutes are tight, arms wherever you want them. Let's slide that leg right over the standing knee and bend the standing leg. Let's sit into that glute. Let's take the arms up by the ears. Send that knee to the ground, the right knee. And then let's stand right up. Take the outside of that right knee and just pull it to your chest. And release. Other side, tree. Left leg comes up. Tucking the pelvis, rolling the shoulders back, open chest, arms wherever you want. Scapulas drop down the back. Letting that foot just slide across the thigh bending the standing leg, coming into a one-legged chair pose, really reaching that top knee down towards the ground, stretching that left foot out, lifting through the waist. Pressing into the ground as you stand and bring that right left knee into the chest and release. All right, get some water. Woo! Okay. What else do we want to do? Let's just do some, uh, some flow, 10 minutes of flow, and then we'll get down on the ground again. Come to the back of your mat. Actually, the front of your mat. <laughs> I always mess that up. 
Um, I'm going to turn this way. <laughs> All right. Let's do a couple sun salutation flows. Get into our mobility and our power. Take a deep breath in, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, dive through the arms into your forward fold, which should be nice and loose now. Let's inhale and lengthen through a half lift into a flat back and release back into that forward fold on the exhale. Step back with the right leg and the left. Find your down dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and through and let's come into crescent pose we're going to leave that back heel off the ground and we're actually going to see if we can drop the step scapulas and lift the chest towards where the wall meets the ceiling Woo! look at that take a look in the camera we're making crescents from here I want you to stand on that leg and see if you can lift with control into warrior three. Hold and breathe. Drop that left hip down. See if you can hold. Come back to crescent. Breathe for a minute. We're going to do that one more time, pushing into Warrior three, find your crescent pose. Inhale, exhale, come forward into warrior three. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. You can also just bring the leg to the toe to the mat and then just lift the leg a little bit off. Rewind to crescent. Hands to the mat. We're going to come into plank position. You can do a half chaturanga like we did before, knees, chest, chin, or you can do a full chaturanga coming through cobra and back to down dog. You can always stay in down dog too. Step or walk the feet to the hands, step or jump the feet to the hands, and roll to standing. Inhale. Look up, exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. Step the left leg back, then the right leg. Inhale, lift the leg, the left leg, step it through. Crescent pose on the opposite side. Drop the scapulas, lift the chest, look up. On the exhale, tip forward. See if you can lift that leg into warrior three. Hold and breathe. Come back to crescent. <laughs> Remember, you can always stay in crescent or just come up to standing like this with your toe on the floor and then lift into maybe a warrior three if you want or staying just with the toe on the floor and just lifting the leg. That's engaging your glute. Come back through crescent, big inhale, exhale, hands to the mat, plank, chaturanga, Cobra, down dog, step or jump the feet to the hands, forward fold and recover. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Right leg back, left leg back. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, step through. We're gonna come drop that back heel and come into warrior one. Warrior one, our hips are forward. 
our heel is in a line reaching towards the arch of our back foot. Let's lift that heel off the ground as we place the hands on the mat. What we're going to do, it's a little funky, we haven't done this in a while. We're going to stand up on this right leg, tapping the toe to the ground. And then we're going to see if we can lift the left leg up in the air as we bring our nose to our knee. Now you can stay here with the toe on the ground, just reaching the nose to the knee. You can lift the leg so it's parallel to the floor and bring the nose to the knee. And you can try to get into a standing split with the toes all the way towards the ceiling. And we're gonna just bend the standing leg and bend that working leg and then send it back up. One more time, inhale, bending the legs and send it back up. Come back down into that warrior one position Get vertical. Hmm. Hands to the mat. Lift that back heel. Flow through. Lift the left leg. Step it through. Warrior one, opposite side. The good thing about warrior one and the difficult thing about warrior one is that we're working to get those hips square without torquing our knees. So you do want that right heel angling slightly back and the left knee right over the left ankle. I'm sending energy out the side, the back of my foot like a waterfall. Lifting the heel off the ground, hands to mat. Standing on the standing leg, pushing up. We're gonna stay here with the toe tapped and the knee to the nose. Or we're gonna bring the leg parallel with the floor. Or we're gonna see if we can set that leg a little higher and come into a standing split. Inhale, bend both legs. Exhale, send them back where they were. Inhale, bend both legs. Exhale, back where they were. Back to warrior one. Ooh, yeah. Find that verticality, settle yourself. And hands to the mat, plank, chaturanga, cobra down dog. Let's stay in down dog. Let's lift that right leg up, send it through and let's come into pigeon. Walk the hips back. Your pelvis is between both legs. It's not on your right butt cheek and it's not on your left thigh. It's between. Nice inhale here, looking up. Exhale, come down onto your forearms. Or if you're ready, all the way down, forehead on the ground, hands straight forward, palms down. Hands come up. Tuck that back toe, send the right leg back to down dog. One big breath in down dog. Left leg comes up, swing it through, pigeon opposite side. Big inhale, arch, exhale. Release into whatever level feels right for you, and it might be different on either side.
And come on up. And this time, let's just roll onto that left butt cheek and come around to sitting. All right. I want to do a little mobility for the hips here. We're going to start with our feet flat on the ground, knees just outside the shoulders. <clears throat> our body is going to twist to the right, which is going to bring our knees to the floor. And we're going to twist over our right shoulder and come down, place the hands on the ground and do a little half push up, elbows going out, chest to the floor, hang out here, feel that delicious stretch in the lower left half back of your back, press up and then bring yourself back around to the front. Try the other side. Knees go to the ground, twist over the left hip. Hands reach forward. Chest comes to the floor, chin comes to the floor. I'm trying to decide if I like the elbows out or in. We just did the elbows out. Now we're gonna try the elbows in. Let's try the other side. Knees go to the right. Arms go to the floor. Let's try elbows going scraping the rib cage. Torso goes flat to the ground. Push up, twist around, try the other side. Reach back, chest to the ground. Hold down there for a minute. Feel that lovely stretch and that, keep that right knee on the ground and press up. I just realized that I'm scooting forward and now I'm off my mat. Did that happen to anybody else? All right, let's bring the soles of the feet together. And let's just open them like a book and send the elbows to the knees and press those knees to the floor. Ooh, that feels good. And recover. Let's bring those knees up. Let's tuck the left leg down and the right leg across. Let's see if we can get those knees on top of each other, stacked on top of each other. A little different feeling in the hips. <laughs> now get the shoulders over the pelvis. Wrap the left arm around the right knee. Use the right arm behind you like a little kind of pivot point and use it as a traction to lengthen through the spine first and then twist looking over that right shoulder. We're going to take three deep breaths here. Good. And coming forward, let's just take a deep breath in, keeping those sits bones on the ground, both of them evenly. You have to maneuver your knees a little. Inhale, and we're gonna sweep the arms forward and just relax the head down. Belly button towards the spine. You can even hug your knees here. And recover. Let's uncross gently, shake it out, and then recross with the other leg on top, starting with stacking the knees. Ooh, getting that left hip down on the ground, lengthening through the spine, wrapping the right arm around the left knee, placing the left hand in the center of the back, right by the spine. Lengthen, 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 and then twist. Three breaths. Good. 
and recover. Hands come to the side, inhale, lengthen, exhale, swoop the hands forward and give yourself a hug here. Belly button towards the spine, engaging the core, moving the pelvis. And recover and uncross. All right, let's do some abs. Come on down to the mat. <clears throat> We're gonna come into, uh, <laughs> I would call dead bug. <laughs> Arms are above, are up and legs are up. <laughs> it's kind of a bad, bad word, but but how about a live bug on its back? <laughs> All we're gonna do is we're going to send the right leg out when the left arm comes up and then switch. But we're gonna actually, first I forgot, we have to <laughs> lift the head and the upper body off the ground. So we're, our upper body is off the ground to the bra line. The right leg shoots out with the left arm opening. Exhale, bring it back. Switch left arm, sorry, left leg and right arm come out and then they come back. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, come back. Left leg and right arm. Exhale, come back. Keep going. In matching the movement of the breath with the movement of the body. Now I'm like completely confused. Okay, here we go. Two more on each side. That takes some coordination. <laughs> Come on down. Easier said than done. All right. Now let's do, that was cross lateral work, opposite leg to arm. Now let's do same arm as leg, same. Same position, a live bug on its back. <laughs> now we're gonna reach the right arm and right leg and come up. Inhale, come up. If this hurts your neck, drop your chin to the chest a little bit more. Two more each side. Wow, interesting. Woo. So that was body side. So instead of cross lateral, we did same body halves, right and left. All right. And now let's get those lower glutes, sorry, abs, lower abs. Let's place the hands uh, down, palms down. You can have the knees bent and you can do a right toe tap and a left toe tap, or you can have the legs straight and you can do a scissor kick and tap the whole leg down and switch. I'm gonna do the, a little bit of both. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the toe taps with a bent leg. Inhale, drop the right toe to the floor, switch. Exhale. Inhale. Now I'm trying to do it and say it at the same time. Each movement gets an inhale or an exhale.
I'm going to switch to straight legs now. And release. Woo! Okay, let's do a little booty. Just hands down by your sides. Inhale, feet flat. Exhale, press into bridge. We're going to hold here for a minute, just breathing. Tight glutes. Try to release the knees. And then we're going to add movement. We're going to inhale, lower the pelvis, tap it, exhale, press back up. Inhale, tap, glutes to the floor, exhale, press. Matching again the movement of the breath with the movement of the body. Now you can continue this, or if you want to take it up a notch, take the right leg across the left, the right ankle across the left knee. And let's do maybe five single leg presses and then switch. Focus on the breath. Good. And lastly, just to move the body, the spine in a different way, let's take the legs either into L and just hold here in L, getting some pressure off the feet. Or if you want, you can scoop the belly button up towards the chest to get into candle, walking the hands up the spine and hold and candle. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Ideally, you want your feet right over your pelvis. So if your feet are over your head, you're not working your core as much as you should. You want those feet shooting right off your pelvis. You can use your camera to help you. Now, you can stay here or you can slowly drop the legs above the head, release the hands to the mat, palms down, and come into plow, breathe. And then when you're ready, slowly, 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 using your hands, pressing into the mat to lower onto your back and then slowly lowering the legs down. All the way. Just for kicks, because we're running out of time. We don't have time to do a full spinal twist here. We did one sitting. Just let the knees just rock a little bit side to side. Close your eyes. And then find a kind of gentle way to move into Shavasana. I'm going to pull up a song to use. This song is called Floating. I want you today during Shavasana to just experience the kind of fullness of that word. 
Maybe you experience your body floating. Maybe you experience the blood inside your body floating or your spirit floating or just your energy that you've just expended floating. Here we go. Close your eyes. Deep relaxation. kind of stop suddenly. Sorry about that. Let's um, actually, let's just send a little bit of attention to our jaw. Let's maybe just move our mouth around a little bit. Maybe stick out your tongue. Say, ah. Maybe bring your hands to your jaw and just give your, your jaw a little massage, a little rub in front and behind your ear like you're kind of scissoring your ear from the bottom, just running your fingers along that jawline. <sighs> Bringing yourself back to the here and now. And maybe ro just rotating your head left to right. And finding your way slowly without getting dizzy coming to a seated cross-legged position with your eyes closed and your hands in prayer.
time has a way of floating by. And when we bring ourselves to the mat, we can slow time down a little. We can be with our breath. We can be with the incremental changes that occur in our body from the beginning of the hour to the end of the hour. We can be present in the fullness of a huge now, a huge, huge now that in the scheme of things is very small. So thank you for bringing yourselves today to practice being in the hugeness of the moment and slowing down a little, floating with the flow of yoga. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you, namaste. Thank you, Frankie, for being here. Barbara, I hope you did all right. Sherry. Hey, good job. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you again, as always. My pleasure, my <laughs> pleasure. Good to see some of you I haven't seen in a while. And we'll be here again next Tuesday. Always, you know, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Be well, everyone. Bye.